You did you know me before. Ah. Hi guys, so this is your sweetheart Amo Me Dada and Yay! Happy New Year! <laughs> so I just want to say a massive big shout out to everyone who has seen Unintentional. And for you that you haven't seen Unintentional, why haven't you seen it? Why are you carrying last? <laughs> Hi, I'm Choma Okoli and I play Diamond in Red TV's Unintentional. You're about to watch Wako's review of Unintentional. Enjoy the show! Mwah. For a while now, I've been looking for new movies to watch on YouTube that is not Blackberry Babes or Rich Sugar Mummies. Mostly because my Netflix plug doesn't want to pay for this month, so I hope this my video gets to her. But one film that surprisingly was posted on YouTube for the broke people like us was unintentional and it was free to watch and you know me, when something is free, I just have to have it. Unintentional is a word I pray to use on my wife when I eventually cheat on her. As soon as she catches me, I'm like... <laughs> Hey, 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 it was on in The movie actually started off differently and this was like a big shut up moment for the viewers. You see, we are used to seeing that bridge, but now there was a twist in this movie. They showed us traffic. This is new to us. We usually like to argue about why they keep using that same bridge. Then we get introduced to Sefi as she had one of the weirdest conversations I have seen with her previous lover, Ladi. And this guy is a character. He drives an SUV so you know he has attitude and he acts like what African countries think Nigerian men act like. They are prideful, rich and womanizers. The sad part is that it's all true but we don't want you guys to think that's all we, ha we, ha that's all we have to offer actually. See. I'm a fine guy. I see I'm I'm too fine. Yeah, you wanna wear me? You didn't mind me. You wanna wear me? We then learned that they both dated for three years and the guy just decided to marry someone else after uni. And this skill is called tag and bounce. You string a girl for so long and the moment she starts thinking of marriage, you leave her. It's like character development for the girls. Thank us later for doing this to you. After kicking him out of her house, she gets a good news that she'll be doing her youth service in Imo State and not Lagos. I don't know why she is happy about this. Then we have Uzo, who is in this awesome Ibo family that you only read in books his dad has this crack in his voice that sounds like he wants to cough every time he says a word you see that girl <laughs> and his mom still feeds her husband so you know she's not on this app Awesome. But the issue with having an Igbo family or any family in Nigeria is that they feel the need to get you married and that is what Uzo's parents want. They want kids to mess this their beautiful home. For Sefi, she starts her journey to the east with her friend Rosie. They used the bus because of some flight issues but this bus was not so bad. It had like diverse characters. One that just wants to eat every time. One that is a moving English dictionary. And this chick that nags for a living. You do all this rundown just to say your name. Nomenclature is a distinct act of a personal. I take mine seriously. If I no laugh, I go cry. So it's better I laugh, even if I have to force it. Then their boss broke down for the second time. <laughs> Who is this guy? I have not seen him all through this movie. He seems like he's the main actor in this movie. <laughs> And it was at this moment their paths crossed, Uzo and Sefi. Uzo came and showed why he should be kidnapped on time, randomly trying to help strangers for no reason. Then he offered the girls the ride, sadly leaving the rest of the gang to fend for themselves. Are you, are you ladies going to start out an alien just like that? <laughs> I'd rather die in mass with this alien that's built at with you. You did, you know me before. At first, Sefi denied because who wants to play that game called Will he kill me or not? Yes or no? <laughs> and this trip was nice. Rosie just kept on talking without any filter. And Uzo broke a record. The fastest time a guy ever shot his shot at a girl. In less than 10 minutes, my guy was already giving her lines. I am too boring to be honest. Mm. You're not boring. You're different. Come on now, dawg. Come on, man. Their car broke down and the music changed. I was like, yep, it's a cycle. I saw this coming. The very moment I clicked on this movie, I knew where this was going to go. Next time, don't enter a stranger's car. I was wrong, guys. I was wrong. 
The other tagged along in Evil Forest to look for help and then found themselves at this cheap hotel called Party Resort. And this place is a mess. The resort has this receptionist that is a bit feminine. He, he thinks the girls are prostitutes, like how everybody in Nigeria would think. One guy, two girls going into a hotel room. Come, Come on, man. Down. Those girls are prostitutes. Then he gets weird when they realize that he is the receptionist, manager, also the porter. He's also a paid stripper. Come on, Come man. On, the dedication. <laughs> After this short party with the stripper, Uzo makes the second move, but this time he scored. My G! <laughs> the sad part is they got locked out, but hey, who cares? You know what they say, did I go down having fun? If yes, kill me. I found it on Wikipedia, sadly. <laughs> she refused to give him her number because she's sticking to the girl's code. We remain wicked. He then gave her his card and she did not call him for like two months. Rather, she was there teaching kids about their human rights. Ah, get out from here, Joe. We don't have human rights in Nigeria. We survive. He, on the other hand, is still waiting for a call that will never come, so he had to settle for one chick that has been chasing him with food called Amaka. You should come to my to call me first. Yeah. Call. But the shocking thing here is the babe called Amaka, aka Diamond, is the same friend that is trying to choke Sefi with love story. You know what I mean? Then at Diamond's party, which was like the biggest thing in town, she was able to hire professional dancers like this guy here. And surprisingly, Uzo's friend is a professional dancer. He first said he was going to dance with her and he's going to make it easy. Then all he did was move his head left and right, like, geez, man. If that's professional dancing, I'm a legend in this game. <laughs> She got angry because she thought Uzo was going to propose to Diamond and to live with the reality she got drunk. Alcoholism has solved so many issues. I live by that motto, man. Sefi goes through this breakdown that shows her mind or her headspace. She's tired of men and I feel for her. I am also tired of men. That's why I like we you knew this joke was coming, but you still allowed me to do it. She goes looking for closure, but it's a case of catch me if you can because he had to travel to Abuja and then from Abuja travel to the States. The rich just keeps getting richer honestly in this. <laughs> and I actually like this movie, but I did not like this part. How on it is the audio system at the airport clear? Really? It should sound like this. The flight to Abuja is departing at the 7 p.m. She meets him by mistake after thinking he had left, and then we get an explanation for the text she received earlier. When you sent me a text message after you dropped us that day, come up our road. And they had this very cute ending, and uh, they love men, they love. We are freaking single and these guys are kissing on our screen. But think about it, man. I am depressed watching <laughs> I'm depressed. I really like this movie because they did not take themselves too seriously and that was it for me. The result was a complete joke and I did not see that coming. Like the manager being the receptionist and whatever. I did not see that coming and I really liked that. I also liked Rosie. She was like the highlight for me. I feel everybody has a friend like that that just wants to just say, Shut up your dirty mouth! It was a feel-good movie and it served its purpose. My only issue was how lenient they were when the car broke down. It's the East, guys. <laughs> the place is a war zone. If my car broke down on the road, I see, yeah, I'm just going to stand up, walk into the bush and tell them to take me. I don't like surprises. Don't surprise me. So my question for you is, what did you think about the movie? Comment down below. And for the part two, I want more professional dancers like this guy. <laughs>